Mastering Expectations in Cross-Cultural Negotiation Hello, dear learners. Today, we're diving into a critical component of cross-cultural communication, especially in the world of business, managing expectations. Ever felt a conversation didn't go as planned because both parties had different anticipations? That's what we'll tackle today, ensuring your negotiations run smoothly. In any form of communication, but especially in business negotiations, managing expectations refers to the process of understanding, setting, and aligning what each party anticipates will happen during and after the conversation. In a cross-cultural setting, different backgrounds and cultural norms can make this more challenging. It's not just about what you expect, but ensuring the other party understands and agrees with those expectations. Imagine entering a meeting thinking it's just an informal chat, while the other party expects a finalized deal. Misaligned expectations can lead to confusion, frustration, and missed opportunities. In cross-cultural scenarios, where misunderstandings are more likely due to varying social cues and norms, managing expectations becomes vital. 1. Open dialogue. Start with clear communication about the meeting's purpose and what each party hopes to achieve. This eliminates ambiguity right from the start. 2. Ask questions. If unsure, ask. It's better to seek clarity than to assume. 3. Document everything, especially in business, have a written agenda or a list of discussion points. This gives everyone a clear roadmap. 4. Be aware of cultural differences. Understand that some cultures might view time, punctuality, directness, or even the concept of agreement differently. 5. Feedback loop. At the end of discussions, summarize the main points and ensure everyone is on the same page. Different cultures have different ways of expressing agreement, disagreement, or even uncertainty. For example, in some cultures, saying, yes, might mean, I understand, rather than, I agree. It's essential to be aware of these nuances. There might also be varying levels of directness. Some cultures value being direct and to the point, while others might consider this rude and prefer a more roundabout way of communicating. Managing expectations is like setting the stage for a successful play. It ensures everyone knows their roles and what to expect, reducing the chances of unpleasant surprises. Especially in cross-cultural settings, where misunderstandings can be costly, mastering this skill is invaluable. We hope this video has shed light on the importance and techniques of managing expectations in cross-cultural negotiations. Until next time, happy learning!